of your souls are mine! Oh, great. Oh, hello there. Flowey? You look different. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy! Kara, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Asriel Dreamer. Yes, this is Asriel. Flowey is Asriel. How about that? So, here's where everything comes together. Infinite attack, infinite defense. Yeah, you're not getting kicked out of the passive ending now. <laughs> Legendary being made of every soul in the underground. No blowing the passive ascending, folks. Sorry. It's the end. And suddenly everything went psychedelic. Even the name. <laughs> the absolute god of hyper death. So yeah, first he has this attack star blazing, and yes, the attacks do have official names. And ouch. He has quite a few attacks. You can tell what he's gonna do by what by what the text box says. Shocker Breaker. So there's two options here. You can use Dream, which will fill your inventory with healing items, or Hope, which will reduce the damage you take for the turn. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Once again, just like Omega Flowey, this is all about. Uh, surviving, and I'm terrible at talking an attack, wow. Azrael calls on Chaos Saber. Oh boy, this is a fun one. After I defeat you and gain total control of the timeline, I just want to reset everything. Pay attention to which way he moves. It's very easy for him to fake you out. And then, dodge, okay. All your progress, everyone's memories, I'll bring them all back to zero. But I worked hard to get here. Ouch. Why can I not dodge that? Wow. Wow, I'm... Yeah, healing item time. Astronaut food. Then we can do everything all over again. This is probably the coolest looking attack, to be honest. In my opinion. Although it's also a pretty difficult one to dodge. And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it! Omega Laser of Doom! Chaos Saber again. Okay. Now, if you do die in this fight, and which we'll probably see, the soul will actually refuse, as in refuse, and it's it's actually technically impossible to lose this fight. But you'll be set back a few turns, and you'll have to survive for longer, and then you'll lose to me again. Ouch! Didn't react to that. Might as well show off Dream now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. And again! That's actually surprisingly one of the easier attacks to dodge. <laughs> At least, the first version. Shocker Breaker 2, that does not sound promising. So this is what we get when we use Dream. Last Dream. Through determination, the dream came true. And it's not, I think it heals 18 hit points, actually. Oh dear, yeah, I'm terrible at dodging this. Wow, but I actually dodged that, I never dodged that. 
Galacta Blazing. Because you want a happy ending. Did I accidentally not read what he said? If I missed something, oh well. Seriously, that attack looks awesome. Chaos Slicer. Because you love your friends. That's the exact same thing, huh? Chaos Blaster. You stole that from Shadow! Because you never give up. Okay, no, wait, it's just this. It's not the same as a Chaos Blast. Okay, then. Might as well speed up. For no reason in particular. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Ah, that almost looks cool. Oh well. Hot cat! Now, enough messing around! It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Asriel is using Hypergoner! Jeez, I, I have to figure out how to do that kind of animation in Game Maker. <laughs> Start making games. Yeah, there's no avoiding this attack. It'll always leave you at one hit point. I'm thinking, why did I heal there? Even after that attack, you're still standing in my way? Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this! Asriel blocks away. He's become the true absolute god of hyperdeath now, and we can't move off the act menu. Great. Can't move your body. <laughs> Behold my true power! Yeah, usually you're gonna get hit by that attack. And this is what happens if you die in this fight. You just refuse. Seriously, if anyone can actually dodge all those the first time, I commend you. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget about you a little more. Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. This? Yeah, you usually are gonna get hit by this attack. The whole world is ending. Still, you're hanging on? That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything too. That, ad that attitude will serve you well in your next life. Wow. I died more than once in that. <laughs> Still? Come on! Show me what good your determination is now! Almost! <laughs> Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again. But, nope. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But, maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. And now the menu has changed! Now we have to save our friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Azriel's soul, something's resonating. And Undyne's appear. So this is another case of survival and a semi-boss rush. All humans will die. Just shoot commands until the battle ends. Until the mini battle ends. We gotta remind Undyne that we're friends. Suddenly the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. 
Also, if you try attacking Azriel, it, it, it won't work. Okay, so now to save Foyel and Asgor. It's focusing more on Asgore's type of attacks, but they're kind of the same as Coriel, so that's why they share a spot. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back! Your fate is up to you now. You are our future. Next up, Papyrus and Sands. Papyrus, make me some spaghetti! <laughs> and I'm still not used to jumping with this. I'm better at this on a keyboard, trust me. There we go, I actually dodged that for once. No, wait, you're my friend! I could never capture you! No, I'm rooting for you, kid. And now to save Alphys. The perhaps more most tragic one. She her battle is kinda like Metaton. No, I don't. Ah, oops. <laughs> Those things must be made of party ball materials. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie! No, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. Only one more. Someone else. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. But who? Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? What did you do? What's this feeling? What's happening to me? No! No! I don't need anyone! There's no dodging that attack. There's, there's just no dodging that attack. <laughs> Stop it! Get away from me! Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart! Kara, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep plotting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special, Kara. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I... I'm doing this because I care about you, Kara. I care about you more than anybody else. The 
not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please, stop doing this and just let me win. And determination, stop it. Stop it now. Yeah, that's some pretty strong determination. Kara. I'm so alone, Kara. I'm so afraid, Kara. Kara, I... I... I'm so sorry. Get ready, here's gonna be a big reveal. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Kara? I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Surprise! The character we were naming at the beginning was not the protagonist. Kara's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. <laughs> Frisk, I... I understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. Thank you! A real apology! Can't. Must. Wh what? Frisk. Come on. You're, go you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. The barrier was destroyed. Frisk. I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. Aww. 
Huh. <laughs> I don't want to let go. Chris, you're... You're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of Mom and Dad for me, okay? Even though I know know that was knew that was gonna happen. Mm. Frisk. This is all just a bad dream. Please wake up. Oh, you are awake. Thank goodness! We were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just got something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears! No, no. The important thing is that Frisk is alright. Here, Frisk. Why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Er, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what, I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower, and then... everything went white. But now the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. So, yes, you can... What she means by take a walk, you can go back through the through the areas in the game, and talk to all the monsters you met, all the characters, and they all have, uh, things they talk about post-dialogue. I mean, a post-epilogue. Put <clears throat> after that battle. It's a post- Yeah. You get the idea. I'm only gonna check out this one and then talk to the character, the main characters. the coffin. All the other coffins are open. The coffin is empty? You didn't notice it before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Huh. Weird. Now as for... I want to explain this now. Uh, who was Kara? Well, okay, I don't want to explain this now. That, I'll explain a bit later. Because, actually, there's one person in mind who will tell us about Korra, but that'll happen later. It is actually pretty important to know, so, of course, I won't skip. For now, let's just talk to all our friends. Starting with Asgore over here. Howdy, Frisk. Sorry about almost trying to kill take your soul. I feel very bad about it. I hope we can still be pals. Yeah, no harm done. Hey, don't worry about it, Asgore. I think everybody's tried to kill Frisk at least once. Yeah, that's true. Oh, I see. In that case, 
I'm not sorry. Risk A. That's gore. That's not what I meant. <laughs> uh. Risk. I just realized. Now that we aren't fighting at each other, I can finally ask you, would you like a cup of tea? Would you like a cup of tea? Uh, no thanks, I just don't like tea. Oh. Okay. Frisk, stop! You're breaking his big burly heart! Um, it's okay. Undyne. My heart's already broken. Asgore, stop! You're breaking my big burly heart! Yeah, Asgore, don't break Undyne's heart. That's my job. <laughs> oh my god, you're going back in the trash! Can I go in the trash too? Sure, Papyrus. Guess I have to go in the trash too. Oh, may I enter the trash as well? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. Am I invited to the trash? Sure, why not? On second thought, do not put me in the trash. Oh. <laughs> Poor Asgore. Oh my god. Poor Asgore. Oh, Frisk, if you're not busy. On nice days, you should walk around and have a good time. That's important. Okay. Psst. Frisk. Um, you've got to tell me. D do you think Asgore and Toriel are, uh, ever gonna get back together? Uh, <laughs> nope. Yeah, that's what I thought. A woman can dream, though, right? And write fanfiction. A lot of fanfiction. On second thought, Maybe I won't write fanfiction of real people. I mean, isn't real life already the greatest fanfiction of all? Uh, don't tell anyone I said that. Cause I'm gonna post it on the email. Cause I'm gonna post it online. <laughs> I sure am excited to finally use human internet. I bet they have all sorts of things Undyne and I can watch. Oh man, we're gonna be able to watch anime online? Of course, Undyne. What do you think we've been fighting for all along? Freedom. Yeah, what do you... Whoops. Jinx, I knew you were gonna make that joke. Wait, Alphys, I didn't know you knew Sans. Well, I... Doesn't everybody? Who the hell is Sans? Er, I uh, mean, who the heck is Sans? Toriel! The only reason I didn't censor that. <laughs> hey Friss, why don't you go look for Metaton? He was here a while too. He was here for a while too. But he said he had to go somewhere. Uh that's in the with the other monsters. Sorry, Al. Not gonna happen. But in, for those wondering, yes, he does hang out with Napsa. Because indeed, they are related. So I'll show off the Metaton the mystery key later so that we can get more clarification on that. So, Alphys, what do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and um no, I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. <laughs> That's the spirit. Everyone, a celebration to being losers. <laughs> Iris has the right idea. Losing to Frisk is the best thing that ever happened. To ever happen to me. So I'm glad that we... Huh? What is it, Asgore? Um... What's in... Anime? Oh no! <laughs> Frisk, please. Help me explain what anime is to Asgore. You see, it's like a cartoon, but... Uh, a guy like Asgore would probably be more interested if it had swords and guns. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords? Golly, that sounds neato. Where is this? Where can I see the anime? 
Uh, hold on. Uh, I think I have some on my phone. Here, look at this. Oh, uh, um, that's the that's the wrong. Uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots kissing? Boy, technology sure is something, isn't it? Yes, indeed it is. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Hey, Alphys. Alphys! Do you think we can watch something with fighting next? Oh, and then something with princesses? Or fighting princesses? I'll see if I can manage to find anything like that, Undyne. Yay! <laughs> so, Asgore, how about making me a member of the Royal Guard? Well, Papyrus, now that the war is over, we might not need the Royal Guard anymore. What? Then what was the point of the Human's Quest? They journeyed all that way, and I'm still not a member of the Royal Guard? Truly, this is the worst possible ending. Nope, Papyrus, there's worse, trust me. I've seen, I've seen it. I'll talk about it later. It seems you really watched your quest, Big Frisk. But I, the Great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. Hey, Frisk, what's with that weird expression? Sans, did I tell you about the time Frisk flirted with- Oh, she remembered. And then asked to call me Mother? Oh boy. Wow, Frisk. This really puts our relationship in a new light. Hey, Toy, do you have any other embarrassing stories? Oh, do I ever? But I think that story is one of the most unbelievable. It is hard to think anyone would want to flirt with me. <laughs> oh, Toyel, you have no idea. Uh, <laughs> ever since the demo, uh, internet travels fast. Kids, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, good. You'll learn when you're older. <laughs> Hello, Frisk. Alf has upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the Queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. <laughs> you two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. <laughs> wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. <laughs> Chris, do not feel left out. I have been writing messages you as well. You still have my phone number after all this time, do you not? So yeah, by tra when you travel and call Toriel's phone as you're traveling to different rooms, you can get her text messages. I might show that off later actually, but we'll have to see. With that, I'm gonna go ahead and save real quick before we head out, just because. Determination! <laughs>